In Dragon Ball and say, well, look, why didn't this character just do this then if they're this powerful? And your answer will 9 out of 10 times be because that wouldn't make for as interesting or satisfying of a story. No! Oh my goodness! That's terrible! Oh my goodness! Why didn't Krillin just Destructo Disc? I mean, Solar Flare Destructo Disc? Because it wouldn't have made him for as interesting of a story. Yeah, but I don't think Krillin's worried about if it's an interesting story. I think he's worried about killing him. So, here's what you do. You do those things, but you write around them to defeat those things. So Krillin tries to do the Solar Flare Destructo Disc, and Frieza can read power levels because of all the humans he was against. So now Krillin tries to blast him and he goes, oh no, I can feel that energy and he moves. That makes sense because at least Krillin tried it at that point and it was just defeated. But it's something that's not broken out because it wouldn't be satisfying. Just because. Or just go, Frieza can hear it because it makes a dear... Look at those words! Out. I'm sorry yeah, to no, 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 what no, 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 we are 100% going to get to that, but... Frieza can hear it because it's a very distinct style I'm and he cry. can move up, down, left, right and all sorts of movement. So it doesn't have to be a hard, this doesn't have to happen because whatever. Now we can get to this. You gotta read it. I can't look up. Dragon Ball constantly breaks its own rules. It's V-I-T-S <laughs> to make for a more interesting and developed story. <laughs> This is Hunter Hunter Bush! This is Hunter Hunter Bush! It's good because it doesn't follow its own rules! Why create the rules then? Why? Why even have the rules? Why not just have a story? Why not just develop the story? My goodness. Why, Why have do you rules? think it's a good point? <laughs> Why have rules if you're just going to go, no, we're not doing this. We're just going to break them. Oh, all Devil Fruit users can fly now. Chopper goes, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw me and Big Mom into the sea. Good thing Big Mom can swim. Why can't she swim? Because, oh, that's just breaking its whole rule. That defied your expectations, didn't it? No. You can't do this. You can't make this a good point. You can't say that this is of quality because it constantly breaks its own rules. To make for a more interesting and developed story. No, absolutely. That is 0% more interesting or developed. Because this you can just go, what now? Who cares? Yeah, yeah. You can't logically in your mind go, oh, this person is this. So the next thing that's going to happen, the next thing that's going to happen. Like, uh, for something like uh, even Naruto, you look at freaking um, uh, Shika once Asuma dies. And you're just like... I can't wait to see how Shika defeats that Akatsuki. Because you know what Shika can do. You know what the Akatsuki can do. And they follow the rules. So you can, in your mind, try to go, blah, 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 blah. It's going to exactly. go out like this. And that's fine because you know what everybody can do. For this, you're going, you know what people can do. But they'll do more than what they should be able to do. And that's because it wants to be more interesting. Or, it'll, or they'll do things, they <laughs> won't do things they can do because it wouldn't be as interesting this oh is terrible my goodness. this is terrible this is not a good point <laughs> this is awful i dude you put this on just like okay yep let me make this text blue yep perfect no <laughs> like if tn was strong enough to hold down imperfect cell with his neo tri beam why didn't he use that technique against the androids if goku was really you why why not that's what? stupid! Yeah, that's stupid. Why not? Why didn't he do it? Oh, because it wouldn't be as interesting. No, because he would have killed him. And then that would have just been it. Oh, okay. Um, so now we just have to move on having that knowledge that Goku died because Tien just didn't want to do this. Okay. And he used that technique against the androids. If Goku was really strong enough to beat Boo the first time they fought, isn't his justification weak for not defeating him? No, because Goku knows at some point he's going to die. So what happens when the next Boo comes and he's dead and can't be wished back? And he burned up his one day on Earth again. So, oh, uh, Gohan. Gohan's here. Oh, Goten and Trunks are here. Oh, such and such is here. There's new protectors of Earth, and not everybody just turning their head and going, where's Goku to defeat this person? That one makes sense. That, that makes sense point. for Goku. 
Goku does not want. He wants to. He wants the end of Dark Knight Rises. This, <laughs> where it's just like you be Batman now. He wants to create the next Goku because Goku won't always be here. That's why. Makes sense. And you know what? Gohan could have beaten Boo. But he was on that bush. But he, he was, was on that bush. Just uh, so out of character. I hate that so much. Hey, Gotenks could have beaten Boo. In character. Still not good. But... They were just dumb little kids. Like, hey, we're going to create the most awesome fight because we want to be awesome. Screaming Angry Wombat. <laughs> Screaming Angry Wombat. <laughs> that was a good moment. That's why. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, you're ruining it. You're ruining it. I ruined oh, you're everything. everywhere. Oh, my goodness. If you changed either of those two moments, you get a pretty uninteresting conclusion where a lot of plot threads end up being unresolved. Pause! Then don't have TN showing that he can hold him down with this move! If it's gonna be uninteresting, if the whole point was to go, we couldn't do this, they couldn't just beat those dudes because it would have been uninteresting. Don't have those moments! To show them that, oh, we could have did this, but it just wouldn't but have been interesting. Didn't. So we just did not. Have and because of that, it's more interesting and developed. Go Have Goku. The whole thing was, uh, even though it was so stupid, <laughs> so was going over there to get the dragon radar. So he was stalling for time. Have Goku getting the sh beat out of him. Have him get his arm ripped off like, yeah, it's fine. It'll come back in the other world, whatever. Have him doing a good, having like a, a a fairly good like back and forth fight. Like I don't know if I could have beaten him or not, but Goku flat out just goes, "Yeah, I could have beat him." Terrible. Don't have these moments if you're just gonna go. Yeah, it just wouldn't have been as interesting if this happened. And the protagonist, Pause. Hody, Hody versus Zoro underwater. Zoro could have beat him. Could have flat out beat him. But, but Hody hit that bush. But Hody, it, it wasn't just like what well, he was just like. And he just, he just didn't beat him. He just went, I'm going to let Luffy handle this. No, Hody did something to make him go, you can't beat me now. <laughs> Point blank period. It wasn't like a hard. And it would be more interesting if Luffy beat him. And then he got to uh, break down uh, Noah's Ark. And then free fish mine and all that. That needs to be interesting that way. No. <laughs> the story dictated that this happened because of this. A lot of plot threads end up being unresolved and the protagonists don't get the big win. This is not without a- Whoa! Oh my goodness. That is a lot of text, my guy. Okay. Let's let's get through it. <laughs> the Tien Roshi recruitment episode, episode for the Tournament of Power. Not satisfying total nonsense in terms of power scaling. All of them were. Yes. Why is 17 to the level of blue? It's, it's the worst. It is literally the worst. All of them. Why do you keep dunking on Tien? I just don't think he like, really likes Tien. Characters explicitly uh, being said to have run out of energy and then proceeding to transform. Absolutely. Terrible. Vegeta in Tournament of Power. But this isn't power scaling. That, fir that first one is power scaling. Yes. Absolutely terrible. But all of them were. The second one is about stamina, and it makes no f and sense. Goku's raising strength, if we're going by power levels, is absolutely absurd doing the saying. Yes! Yes! It no. No. Um, Saiyan Saga, he was just where he was. Yeah, no, he, he trained with a guy. That makes, in, yeah. in a lot of gravity, plus he did all that stamina running. No, that makes sense. Yeah, no. Makes a lot of sense. But Namek? No, absolutely not. Yeah, he went from uh, uh, 20,000 to, to, what, 180,000 in the span of a month? Yeah, that, that's Bush. Yeah. Terrible. Because Toriyama was not thinking about this stuff. Absolutely not. As soon as the uh, planet busting got introduced, you really have to begin sp suspending your duel. Yes! Yeah, absolutely. Are these, like, pro or negative points? What is he? Go to the trunk, turn into suit. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. It is said that you can turn Super Saiyan once your S cells develop enough. Cultivating enough in them S cells. In times of peace. Yep. It says nothing about power levels. Nope. Because we you, you don't need to be a certain strength. 
You don't need to be a certain weakness. You just have to have enough S cells and I guess a big enough traumatic event to transform. And also Bard I can just transform because. <laughs> and he was what, 10 thou? Mm -hmm. Strength has nothing to do with it. Strength has nothing to do with transforming into a super I understand Saiyan. that wasn't canon, but it still happened. It, 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 <laughs> If something non-canon and Krillin turns into a Super Saiyan, are we just supposed to not count that? This is is being presented to the, us. We have uh, the def the freaking backstory of the Super Saiyan God and the person turning to Super Saiyan and defeating bad Saiyans, quote unquote. Where it's just like the, uh, Vegeta was seen as elite with twenty seven thousand. These people couldn't have been more than like ten thousand, twenty thousand, and he's turning Super Saiyan based off that. Yes, kids can turn into Super Saiyans. Because they have them S cells. Because Toriyama did not think about Super Saiyan or power scaling. Error on occasion, obviously, but I imagine you get the point I'm trying to drive across here. I don't. Uh, Dragon Ball has a multitude of objects or plot devices in its storytelling that only serve a purpose to power up the characters so that we get more cool fights. Piccolo's. That's, that's not good. No, that's terrible. That's what makes it bad. That's what makes power scaling bad. You know what? Namekian thing makes sense. Once we're introduced to it, okay, you can get stronger through being absorbed. So then you have to go, why aren't Namekians doing this? Why? To save the planet. We. Why didn't Nail go out to each and every Namekian and go, there's people coming, let me absorb you, we got the Dragon Balls. Once they leave and I, I kill them, we'll wish for everybody to be right back to normal. Yeah, we'll, risk, we'll wish to get split again. Why didn't he do that? Cause, eh, because that wouldn't have been narratively satisfying if we had nailed this dude that we didn't know finessing Captain Ginyu. Okay. Why wouldn't he just go up to the warriors and just go, okay, these people are too strong. We have about 17 warriors left. They've taken out about 15 of us. Let's just get absorbed and fight. No. Why didn't Luffy take out all of Arlong Park? Well, because he couldn't. Because he was, number one, out of underwater. Number two, he was beating up a lot of people. And then number three, they, uh, Chu, somebody like Chu, just straight up chased Usopp. So he was out of there. There was no way that Us I mean, uh, Sanji, Zoro, nobody could have helped Usopp in that uh, situation. Especially not Zoro. He was cut to bits. Makes sense. As opposed to, this just needs to happen for the story. Not strong enough to fight Frieza. Oh shit! Looks like he confused. We we here's power scaling right here. We see Mihawk finesse the sh out of uh, Zoro, who has been finessing everybody up until that point with this little baby sword. <laughs> so you go, oh, Zoro isn't even close to that. Someday he's gonna have to get there to become the strongest swordsman. So you keep seeing him fight swordsmen. And it's just like. They're still not the strongest swordsman. Yes, we have the stronger, a uh, stronger swordsman. We have Ohm as opposed to uh, uh, the squid fishman. I forget it. Hachi. Hachi. Uh, we have Ohm compared to Hachi. Ohm is stronger than Hachi, but he's still not as strong as Mihawk, who we've already seen. That's power scaling. We see a goal for the strongest swordsman. The strongest swordsman going up to that point are we getting see stronger. Him slowly going up to that point. But he's still not at the level of the strongest swordsman. Arc 3 of Dragon Ball, we've already <laughs> defeated the strongest person in the <laughs> universe. But then he has a dad who's stronger than him. What? Wait a second! You see, do you see how power scaling differs and the problem there? I think he's just going to debates are stupid because it just doesn't matter because Dragon Ball is stupid and doesn't care. <laughs> it has to be that! He's just going, it's breaking his rules. Power levels, who cares? Go, Goku's not a strong as cell based on them saying it. <laughs> Is Why couldn't he get stronger? Well, I mean, he didn't train hard enough or he didn't have it in him. But Gohan did? Uh, whatever. Like he confused with Nail and he's able to put up a decent fight now. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks aren't sure if they can beat Cell. Oh shit, look. Hyperbolic Time Chamber gives them the same power up that training time skips did before. Pause. Yes, because they're training for a year in the span of a day! But the Hyperbolic Time Chamber is so stupid. But here's the thing. If they got strong enough to uh, start uh, handling the androids, 
Uh, you look at uh, what they did in that time. All they did was a bunch of sparring and stuff. So you can look at Goku. I mean, uh, you can look at Trunks and Vegeta like, oh, they're just doing a bunch of sparring and training and self training and blah blah blah. So they got that strong. We have something beforehand that speaks to what's going on now. So you can't just go all oh, the blah 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 whatever Dragon is, Ball he baby. Is literally just yada yada. Dude, he is hand waving all of this stuff. Power level debates are stupid because power levels are stupid because Dragon Ball is stupid. So just shut up and enjoy, monkeys. Just, just shut up and watch. Don't think about it. What if I want to? Well, don't. Cause well, you're being stupid. Cause it's all stupid. <laughs> It doesn't it, make sense, so the arguments won't make sense. Hey, you ask for, you don't ask for better, you're not gonna get better. No, absolutely so not. So you're so mad at Super because Dragon Ball Z wasn't called out on the problem, and Super just exponentially upgraded those problems. So now you're looking at it like, wow, Super real bad because Dragon Ball Z wasn't called out on it because. Power level debates are stupid, so stop talking about it. The problems were always there. But you were a kid, or you really liked Dragon Ball or whatever, so you just yada yada, and you're still yada yada it. But for some reason, you can't yada yada super when it's having the same problems. Or and worse in some cases. Majin Buu is unbeatable, and Goku has to return to other worlds soon? Oh shit, uh, have you guys heard of this thing called Fusion? Oh, there's not enough time to learn it and train up to be strong enough to fight Boo. Good thing we have the hyperbolic time chamber to just... Yes, a device that we already had. That was always established. The the fusion was garbage. Yeah, they just broke it out. It's, it's, it's one of those you, things where we need them to get stronger really fast. Here's this thing. Yeah. But then it kind of makes sense that Goku was like, yeah, I, I spoke to a lot of people and he got this weird technique. Makes sense. Yeah, but yeah. It's, also, it's, it's it, still just like, it's complete garbage. Yeah, where it's like, I spent seven years in Outer World, uh, in Outworld, and now we can, uh, I've learned about a lot of things like Fusion. Like, we, it, it makes sense in that it's they simply the did not know about it. Mm-hmm. Now, Kami knew about it, but it also stands to reason that Kami had no reason to tell anybody about it because for the most part, there were never two people of roughly the same uh, power level. So it, it, it's really hard to do. Goku and Piccolo were rarely ever on the same wavelength. But also, there's also the fact that they need to be of similar heights and builds. Yeah. And, and unless they don't. Unless they don't. And, and in which case, we got Gogeta. When... When Vegeta's five foot three and Goku's five seven, but that just doesn't matter now. By a couple of kids getting an even bigger power up to coincide with that too. Point being, you can make up any number of random bullshit to insert into Dragon Ball to just and it's and it's a clap oh, because it's goodness. it's stupid and they breaking the rules to make it more interesting. So clap, clap, monkeys, just you clap make, it up. You can make up anything in any story, but you have to make it good. You have to make it satisfying narrative like you've been talking about. But this just isn't. Hey, Spider-Man turned into a, a giant spider. Why? Well, his genetics... Oh, okay, that makes sense. You didn't just go, well, whatever. It, it made it more interesting, didn't it? One more day made things more interesting, quote-unquote. But that comic sucks, balls. You suck. <laughs> This is this terrible. Is really this is terrible. This is really bad. I'm I'm one of those people that I go. Um, I don't understand why you have a zero to ten system. If you go, it was an eleven, dude. If I if I believed in negative eleven, <laughs> this would be it. This is getting a negative ten. Just the, the, the spoilers. Unless he does something quick, this is getting a negative ten. <laughs> to fight changing the power levels so that certain fights happen and those certain fights have certain outcomes. So when it comes to actual discussions of the series, I'm kind of mind boggled that people... You know why oh they, you know why you're mind boggled that there's discussions of the series? Because the power scaling is so bad that people are as strong and weak as they need to be. So what's the point of even discussing power levels if Goku just becomes as strong as he needs to be in this singular, singular moment? You're mad at power level and power scaling and the discussions of such instead of being mad at Toriyama yes. and the story that 
way he peered. People the terrible trying, way he did it. People are trying to justify how can this person beat this person? Is this person stronger than this person? If, if this person went back in time to this time, could they fight this person? They're trying to figure these things out as opposed to just going, no, it's all just stupid and it doesn't matter. You, you're offering no kind of discussion by saying that. Yeah, don't discuss it. Why are you guys discussing it? The story They're is only as strong as they need to be in this moment. The story is doing what it needs for the story to be interesting. And who cares if the rules are broken or the logic that is created within its own world gets broken? As long as we get interesting and cool fights and and uh and 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 and, and freaking uh, uh what am I thinking here? Where it goes up escalation escalation. As long as we get that. Who cares? Who cares? And that's, and that's not the way to think. That's not the way to watch something. I I am not just like who's going to be stronger in in one piece. We know the pinnacle. Even back like I wasn't like, "Oh, who's going to be stronger than than Enter I'm like, "Oh, who's going to who, who what are they going to do now? Who's going to be the next challenge?" It's not it's not a hard who's going to be stronger, who's bigger, who's better. It's just you could put these characters good characters can do be put into any place with a similar fight a similar level of fight and they be and it'd be good hey what's the ranking of strength in terms of the yonko i couldn't even begin to tell you but i know the yonko are super strong and i know the straw hats are not there so you have a gauge of strength just like okay let's just say blackbeard is the weakest if we beat Blackbeard, well, then we got these other people. You go, and you know, okay, they had a hard time with Blackbeard, and now here comes the stronger people, so they're going to have a harder time with them. We'll never seem to actually give a shit about the quality of the overall narrative, so long as it stays within some very rigid perception of what power levels should be. Uh, I touched upon this in my last video. Could you go back? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking about going back. And those certain fights have certain outcomes. So when it comes to actual discussions of the series, I'm kind of mind-boggled that people never seem to actually give a shit about the quality of the overall narrative, so long as it stays within some very rigid perception of what power levels should be. The quality of the overall narrative is terrible because uh, Dragon Ball is a battle manga, and its battles are terrible because the power scaling is terrible. Because they need to be as strong as they need to be. Or as moment. weak as uh, they need to be. They need to be as smart as they need to be or as stupid as they need to be. And in people can just wholesale forget that they got techniques that can just beat people. That could just end the arc. In because the that wouldn't be interesting. In the Tournament of Power... Why should we even believe that TN was the person that could take out that sniper dude when Goku and Vegeta couldn't? That's uh, just that's just to do it to do it to make it more interesting. Why aren't these people doing this? Oh, because it would be boring. Then you made a terrible it, story. Why wasn't Boo in the Tournament of Power? Because he would he would solo it <laughs> raw. So just take him out. Terrible story. Why introduce it if you're just going to go, eh, nope, eh, nope. <laughs> uh, I touched upon this in my last video, and the comments I got blew my fucking mind about how much people ignore st uh, the storytelling. Uh, we don't ignore it here. No, absolutely The not. storytelling is terrible in Dragon yes, Ball Yes, no, Z. it's just here comes the next stronger person. Now we got to train to get stronger than them. Power up, beat. Here's the thing. I've said it before, uh, the Namek Saga is probably my favorite saga in all of Dragon Ball. I am never going back and rewatching that from beginning to end. It's a lot of faffing about. It's a lot of faffing about, and because the story is not interesting. It's the fights that are interesting, and the moments until we get to the fight. We're, Dragon Ball is a bunch of build-ups into a fight. But the fights don't matter if we don't know the scale of what these people are at at this moment that's why power levels are important because they made it important and then they went no it's not important they're just as strong and weak as they need to be in this singular moment and that's terrible it makes sense that gohan is not as strong as he was as a kid because he hasn't been training but then why isn't vegeta just king god person from all his training why does he only get what what why is he able to turn blue what what why? in that training made it happen why isn't vegeta the first person to go super saiyan 2 it makes no sense because he's training more and harder than any other saying on the planet i keep saying 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 on the planet 
it makes no sense that Vegeta just isn't stronger than everybody, except the narrative says, hey, Vegeta, you have to be number two. <laughs> For some reason. And that's the interesting stuff. That's the good narrative story telling you what? Vegeta, you have to be number two just because. Even though you're training harder. Just because this kid just got this innate power within them. That's what you wanted? That's the good stuff Why? that people ignore? There is so much time. There's so much downtime. Why is everybody just not lining up in front of old Kai? Because it... it, it, it Go Gohan went from not being able to touch Fat Boo to finessing Super Boo. Come so, and it's just like, well, that's just something else that we just forgot that we had, and it would make the story not interesting. Like this section is going to be a lot less about story structure and kind of my own observations and opinions about power scaling. Um, I made a brief parody that got some decent <laughs> attention from others about the episode where Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Krillin have a beam struggle on the roof of a skyscraper, uh, joking about how some people take the power levels and scaling a little bit too seriously. No, this makes no sense in the narrative, so people should call out yes. this nonsense. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of tournament of power stuff where it's just like, this is so stupid that you can touch this person. What is the point? What's the point? It... it, it did, this, I, I do not understand what is the point of this point. Other than Goku going, this is what you're going to be facing, Krillin. The, this level of person. Even though he wasn't. And even though Krillin couldn't sense Goku in that moment since he's using God energy. But that doesn't matter. But you're going, this is what you're going to be facing. Is that is that just the point? Because Krillin already knows how strong Goku is. Going back to episode 1 of Super when he punched him. And he just went, alright, I ain't got it no more. Um, this was a bad that moment. That was all the joke was meant to be. I got a lot of positive response, but some of the comments were just so patently retarded I could not believe it. Krillin shouldn't have stood even the slightest chance. Krillin should have been a bull- No. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. He should have disintegrated. Even, even- There's no way that Goku can hold back that much to where he doesn't just blow his friend into the other into world. Into pieces. Even the slightest chance, Krillin should have been obliterated into a million billion pieces. Goku Absolutely. didn't need to use Super Saiyan Blue. He did. Um, I imagine these comments are viewed strictly through the first definition of power scaling I'd mentioned earlier. That doesn't As opposed to your to definition. Tell an actual story. Is there actually anything interesting about a story where Goku just beats the shit out of Krillin and Krillin's just like, ah, shit, man. I'm, I yes. Here's here's how you make that story interesting. Um, Goku beats the sh out of Krillin. Krillin goes. Hey, I'm not. It's clear I'm not going to be strong enough. Go find somebody else. I am not strong enough to be part of this tournament of power. Krillin is, hits a low point, and then everyone's just like Krillin. Just train. Just take out a couple people. His wife talks to him. You've talked about this scenario, which is like just take out like three people. Krillin there, has the it, techniques to do it. Him? How about him just going off the people? Just going. Give me one technique. Goku, take me over to King Kai and have him teach me the Kaioken. Since he could just hop dimensions. That would be interesting. And and then Goku goes, Krillin, there's nobody else. We need you. I know you. I know your strengths and weaknesses. And when we push comes to shove, you're going to get it done. We, we got each other's back. We've had each other's back for 30 years. There's no one that I trust more than you. Krillin, please join the team. That's how you do it. Not just going. It's not satisfying if Goku just beats Krillin. <laughs> you create a better story. You, you do this by thinking of how would Krillin react in this situation of him just getting beaten easily. Of course Krillin would be like, I ain't got it. Of course Usai would be like, I ain't got it. And then where do they go from there? If he goes, I ain't got it, but I'm still in. I'm going to still help you guys. I'd be like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm such a weak little pussy, Goku. I don't even compare to you in your Super Chad 3, let alone Super Chad God, Goku. No, no, that is so fucking boring. Is it consistent with the power scaling? Obviously, nobody expects Krillin to put up. Yes, make it consistent power scaling and tell a story where Krillin knows he's not strong enough, but he's going to do his best. Easy. Instead of going, let's throw out the power scaling so Grillin looks a little bit better.
let's have Goku transform and get, let's say, 500 times stronger because we don't know the blue multiplier. Yeah. 500 times stronger and then divide that by a thousand. Does that make sense to do? Why is that satisfying? Why is th- what's satisfying about this? Oh, Krill is I- trying his hardest. That's what the end of the day is. But our points, our our scenario gets way more interesting. Other than that, outside of him just going to a forest and seeing Nappa and fighting, even though you'd be a trillion times stronger than Nappa at this point. Or to make Goku start to sweat a little bit. So it's not what people perceive the current power levels to be at the time. But is it not more satisfying to see a character that's that you get the scene with where they remember uh, their fight at the tournament and how they've always... Yes, that's a very interesting scene. But here's how you do that instead. It goes, you you have Goku beat the ever-loving sh- out of Krillin. And Krillin goes, what happened? Back in the day, we used to be really close. And now, Goku, I can't touch you. You're too far ahead of me, Goku. You, Vegeta, Gohan, even Tien. All, and you can't just, he goes, you just can't say the Saiyans because even the other humans on the team are stronger than me. I'm not strong enough, Goku. Find somebody else. And then we have the story of Krillin getting his confidence back. Isn't that interesting? Without just in all <laughs> over the power levels and power scaling, or him just remembering back to the tournament and just going, "Yeah, I could fight too." Isn't that more interesting? That is a lot more interesting. Been best friends, and they used to be kind of on par with one another to some degree. And that Krillin sees Goku just so far and above and beyond himself. And even though he knows he's never going to surpass Goku again, like he makes Goku realize, like, "Oh man, wow, Krillin's not actually as weak as I thought he was." Pause. Goku can sense his energy. He knows exactly <laughs> how strong he is. And so I'm going to use point oh 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 one percent of my power. Oh, and Krillin can match up with that. He's not as weak as I thought he was. Big whoop. <laughs> what? You know, it's not to show that Goku is weak. It's to show that Krillin. Uh, has this is very much the Batman syndrome where it's just like everybody has to be brought down so such and such goes up. Goku has to be brought down to Krillin's level. Or you so, have to raise Krillin up to Goku's level. Either way, it makes no sense. What, what's interesting about Goku cutting his power so much? Nothing. Have him fight against Tien. Have him fight against... He fought against Gohan and almost beat Gohan. What, what was that about? And then Gohan fights Super Super Saiyan. Didn't he Blue beat Gohan? Goku? I believe he did. I yeah, he did because he did his super uber duper solar flare, which he never and did then knocked him off the it. never. But then Gohan can go off and beat Super Saiyan Blue. Where where's that greater than symbol here? <laughs> Gain his confidence back, and that he can he he's able to fight. Um, more confidently now, you know, it's not a... Yeah, you, he could gain his confidence back uh, through what we said, and then in the turn of the power, he sees all these super strong people, and he gets his confidence shaken again. So then you have an actual story with Krillin, instead of him show, throwing a shoe at somebody! <laughs> <laughs> About keeping the series strictly within what we perceive the powers to be before, because, you know, it's just this math equation where we know who's going to fight who and who's going to beat who. Um, it's this arc we get where Krillin struggles with his own confidence. He, he feels like very self-conscious about not being a fighter capable of, you know, being helpful anymore like he used to be. It's a lot of throwback to when Krillin was actually useful, even though he hasn't been for a long time. And <clears throat> we know this. That's because of the story. Krillin has been useful in every arc except Boo and Super. Yep. Every arc. Shoot, Namek was a uh, Krillin and Gohan arc more than anything. Krillin, Gohan, and Vegeta. Krillin was super duper useful without needing to be near the level of blue. You get, you give Krillin things to do that Krillin can do. Yes. 
Sanji said it. You do things I can't do. I'll do things you can't do. Why would I want Usopp to be up to the level of somebody else when I could just instead get a fight that only Usopp can win? Doesn't isn't that more interesting than trying to bring Usopp up to a whatever level just to get that fight? Isn't that better? <laughs> we get this scene where he makes Goku realize, like, oh man, like Krillin's not as weak as I I thought he was. You know, he he made me actually have to you know put a little bit more push into the Kamehameha, which isn't okay. What? Why blue? <laughs> Why not just power up a little bit? Yes. Why not go, okay, Krillin, I'm going to use my command man. And then he pushes it back and goes, okay, you've earned Kaioken. Okay, you've earned Kaioken times five. All right, here comes Super Saiyan. Can you handle that? And then move up exponentially like that and just go, instead of just, I'm using so little of my power and he's making me use a little more. <laughs> wow even that big of a deal it's just that and then, even with what you said let's say goku is just slowly pushing his power up and krillin is getting pushed back and he just keeps going go higher go higher go yes. higher and then you get 18 kicking the ball like krillin are you trying to kill yourself and he's going no i'm trying to see what i'm worth yes isn't that more interesting than goku going blue and then going Point zero 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 one yes. percent of his power? Isn't that a good power scaling uh thing as well as a good narrative and satisfying thing? Do you see how you write a story that you can have good power scaling and a good story and character <laughs> oh, development within goodness. without just going, hey, <laughs> show Krillin <laughs> that boo de boo. Dude, this is, I I am so angry at this video because he is he is the pinnacle of whatever. This is this is exactly what you expect a Dragon yes. Ball Z fan to be. Whatever. Look at the fights. Whatever. They're strong as they need to be. Whatever. Of course, power levels don't matter. Uh, who cares? Whatever. Holy crap. You know, he, he put a little bit more into it, and he had to. Uh, and that was it. It wasn't like Goku was on the ropes or anything. Um, he shouldn't have even needed to do that. No, he shouldn't have. That's what people are mad about. It's Goku is, why? Is, Goku is not on the ropes, so why is he going to his strongest form? <laughs> yes! Only to go, well, I'm dialing that all the way back. To the point where he's probably weaker than his base. What's the point? What's the point? To show something to the audience vis-a-vis -vis Krillin. It's stupid. It's, it's not a good moment. Because you have to sit there and just go, okay, why? And you, you can go give Krillin confidence, but then you just instantly go, why did he go all the way up there? So is Krillin that, uh, that strong? No, of course he's not. Then why did Goku do it? To give him confidence. What's so I don't understand what the issue is that people have with writing something that it just feels like people want there to be just this consistency that is so rigid. Yes, absolutely. Please, I want consistency. Absolutely, because yes. when you become inconsistent, there's a problem. See, here's where I think Pinwheel is. See, that's why I wanted the name. Here's where I think Pinwheel is having a problem with. I think he thinks. People want consistency from their own mind of what they want to be consistent. So some people want power scaling to be consistent. Some people want power level to be consistent. Some people want uh, training and how they grow to be consistent. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you guys are so rigid in your consistency for power levels and power scaling that you're getting in the way of the narrative and the storytelling. And I think that's what he's thinking in his mind. No, people want Dragon Ball to be consistent. I, if you trained the same way you trained before, why did you go from 1,000 to 2,000 one year and then 20,000 to 80,000 the next year? That's what I'm talking about when I go, I don't understand the they're being as strong and as weak as they need to be, and that's the problem with power scaling. Power scale, I mean, uh, Dragon Ball is just a series of constant escalation. 
there's no end goal of like mm-hmm. this power level is the pinnacle of power level and we need to reach that level yeah th- you're not gonna see somebody in our world lifting a ton yeah so we, we know what we, we know can get the to. upper limits of humanity but their training yields the same effectiveness but it also doubles in effectiveness whenever the story needs it to or has effectiveness where when, when the story needs it to Training is only as effective as the story needs it to be. And that's not good. And that's not good. See, so you see I'll, something like Naruto, which has a lot of training arcs, but all the training is usually different. Hey, we're going to uh, teach you more about how to control the Fox Chakra. Okay, so now he's getting stronger because he can control that. Hey, we're going to teach you this new technique called the Rasengan. Okay, he's training that, so now he has a new technique, and that's what he's stronger in now. Now he has Fox Chakra. Now he's got that. Now he uh, can create more Shadow Clones. His training yields different results because he's going through different training. The Z Warriors are basically doing the same training they always do, and they get as strong as needed or as not strong as needed. That's the problem. Yes. I would love some rigidness in Dragon Ball. Absolutely. As yes. opposed to just this fluid air, whatever, go in, that, go, in the, go in the healing tank and then just get eight times stronger. Uh, Isn't it supposed to be like three times stronger? No, whatever. I need you to be 42 times stronger within the next two days. Hey, we're running out of Zenkai. Psych, no. Nah. Hey, we're reaching our upper limits of power. Nah. No, there's, there's, there's higher levels now. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, I, the Super Saiyan is the legendary ability. Well, what if there's stuff after it? Really? Okay, I never thought about that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Let's do that then. Oh, um, blue is the strongest level we have. Well, what about, like, a, a stronger blue? Hey, Saiyans get stronger when they get mad, right? What if we, what if we encapsulate that into like a pseudo transformation, and just call it Super so Saiyan terrible. Rage? Terrible. Terrible. See, I was, I was mostly with him because I, I, my mindset was he was mad at uh, Super because the power scaling was so terrible. Yeah. Whereas he's looking at Dragon no. Ball Z, but no, he's defending Super. So he's just defending Dragon Ball and it's inconsistent power scaling and it's consistent power level because it makes it more interesting that we don't really give a sh- th- how strong <laughs> we people are. Thanks, thanks. That's that's great. There to be just this consistency that is so rigid. I know I've said that many times, but it, it, there's such a lack First of time. care for the actual story of Dragon Ball from some people, which I think is ridiculous because at that point, Pause. like, why- story doesn't matter. They're only as strong or as weak as they need to be. Why should we care about the story if we don't know how strong they need to be unless it's just this strong? No, that's why? what he's saying. He's saying that why are you guys paying so much uh, attention to how strong or weak people are instead of uh, paying attention to the story itself and them just being as strong and as weak as the story needs to be. It should be story first, power levels and power scaling no, second. this is a fighting manga anime. So we can't do that. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going shut up. Yeah, it's like going in JoJo's and it's just like, uh, the world is like the strongest ability, but uh, who cares really? Yeah, um, Kakyoin is just molly whopping it. Yeah, he could just beat it because the story needs it to happen right now. General just beat the world because the story needs it to happen, so whatever. Why are you even watching the show? You might as well just write out the numbers that every character is like strength wise, and then you know, every now and then, if you feel like throwing in a new form, just you know. There, there's a new. That's that's not- what Dragon Ball does. <laughs> well, yeah, that is actually what it does. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why you insulting them? But here's the thing: you look at the numbers and you go, okay, let's say Jiren is forty million. Uh, and he's clearly not. But yeah. let's just say, uh, just, Jiren, just giving it a number. Yeah, let's say uh, Jiren is forty million, and you look at Goku and Vegeta, and they're at twenty-two million. So you go, okay, how are they going to win that? So you get new forms, you get new whatever, and you want to see how the story progresses to where maybe, hey, Goku now, for uh, X reason, is power level 57 million. You can, you can break any story down in, oh, Harry Potter is going to beat Voldemort. So why would you watch the story? Why wouldn't you just look at it as, hey, Voldemort can't kill Harry, so Harry wins. 
I'm not gonna watch the story. No, people want to go on the journey. It's not about the journey, uh, the destination. It's about the journey. A lot of people say that. People want to go on the journey. Um, people, uh, people know uh, Naruto is gonna be Hokage at some point. So mm -hmm. why would they watch the series? Yeah, no, just skip to the end and just go Hokage, and yep. there he is. Yep, that was it. But what you're saying is excuse the power scaling and the power levels in service of the story. Instead of going, the story should be good enough that the power scaling and the power levels are consistent and we still get a good story out of it. Like the Krillin scenario. We, we presented two to three Krillin scenarios <laughs> that were better than Goku going blue. That's what we're talking about, dude. It's really not that hard. It's, it's it's the easiest conclusion. Um, it really feels like sometimes some fans can't see the forest for the trees. Toriyama could. I feel like oh my, you're. I was just that. about to say that. I feel like you're going. Here's the forest of storytelling. So ignore the trees of the, or here's the trees of uh, storyteller. So ignore the forest of the terrible power scaling and everything. Dude, you're you're excusing all this terrible power scaling just because it's in service of the story. Literally, right that Krillin pumped all of his energy into this special senzu bean that, when eaten, multiplies his power a thousandfold for two minutes, putting him on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And it would make just as much sense as the introduction of fusion into the series. And people would no, because. You see fusion, uh, Goku goes, I know this technique because I spent seven years in a world that we don't know sh about. And Piccolo could go, well, I was once God, so of course I know about that. Whereas it's like, current. why didn't we have these beans before that increases our strength a thousandfold? Oh, I like, just did never deliver it to you. You just have to make some story boost up. So they at least explain uh, fusion in the story of why potentially they didn't know about it before. There's no reason why they should have. There's no reason why they should have. Uh, and there's no reason for comedy to tell anybody because there's not nobody that is close enough to get that fusion in. But Kura is just like, oh, I learned a new technique. How? When? Why? What? And again. You're going, it's just like Krillin throwing a bean that's a thousand times stronger, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, it, it makes just as much sense as Fusion being introduced to the story. Okay, but they're both bad if you don't <laughs> explain it. If you don't give a reason for this thing, they're both bad. It's uh, TN holding uh, Cell down. That doesn't. That makes just as much sense as blah blah. Okay, but it's bad because now we look at it as why didn't he do it before? Oh, because it wouldn't be satisfying. And then that's it's where bad. It breaks down. Yeah, he made a bad series, dude. It's just, Dragon Ball is you just spent not twenty good. minutes ex excusing all this power level stuff when it's just bad. I could I could easily be convinced. That Dragon Ball is just a fun, stupid fight show, and don't think about it, cause that's very much Transformer stuff. If you, if that's how you want to go into it, that's fine. But you're going ignore power yes. scaling and level. That's the problem. It's good because you should be ignoring <laughs> the bad thing, <laughs> and that's not how you should be looking at anything. And still find a reason to bitch about it too. Th there's this stigma that they have to stick to these very rigid ideas of. Who is what? Dragon Ball Z toning down the adventurous aspects of the series. Dragon Ball is still a series about going on fun adventures no, and having not. cool fights no, along the way. Not. It isn't a math formula. Um, What's the last adventure they went well, on I was in just Z? I about to say that. Um, Namek, I would guess. Raditz. Raditz goes off into the open field and they fight. And then they train. Uh, Nappa and Vegeta. They go into an open field and they fight. And then they go to Namek. And then they go back to an open field on Earth. And then they go back to an open field for Boo. And then they go off to the the super secret Kai planet. And then they go back to an open field. Now, as far as adventures goes, Namek was an adventure. Um, you, uh, this isn't a fun adventure, but uh, figuring out uh, the cell coming back from the mm -hmm. past and all that. Yeah, that's an adventure. That's like three episodes. Yeah, but it's an adventure. Something. It's not a fun one. And, uh, you know, it's an adventure. 
So Namek is absolutely an adventure. This could be seen, that could be seen as an adventure. There's, um, I guess the Kai planet is an adventure in Boo. I, I guess. guess, even though we only see like a block worth of it. See, adventures um, are about exploration. You're you're going to a new place and you're exploring it. They explored Namek. Um. One Piece is predicated on it. They go to island, island. They're going on an adventure, what and island is and there's the history just, and everything. Yes, they're going on an adventure. This is not. They're not going on fun adventures. Dragon Ball is not a series about going on fun adventures. It's about. It's a series about fighting. It is a math formula. It is absolutely a math formula. Because strong person comes. How do we get stronger than person? They get stronger than person, or they beat person. And then it repeats. Is that not what happened in Black? Is that not what happened with Beerus? Is that not what happened with Boo? Is that not what happened with Cell? You can it's easily... A- and e- even One Piece can be broken down to a math formula of uh, go to Island, figure out problems of Island, solve Island, go to Island. You have all the side stuff, you know, uh, mm-hmm. things that have nothing to do with the strides. But even... All series can be broken down into a math formula. Dragon Ball is absolutely it's, it's a math formula. At all. It's it not is, special. It's, it's, not, it's probably not even a formula. It's just it's just a bunch of numbers. It's just a bunch of arrows pointing <laughs> to it's just this a bunch is of the greater signs. <laughs> Power. And it's such a massive limit on telling a fun and interesting story with characters that grow. No, it doesn't need mm. to be a limit. Because, again, One Piece has all their characters growing, getting stronger along the way. But the power scaling is still consistent and good. You're saying that um, Dragon Ball would be bad if they had consistent story. I mean, uh, power levels. Oh, my and, goodness. Okay, how about you just rework the series or tell, be better at telling a story of p- consistent power levels and scaling to where you can still tell a good, fun, interesting story, it, but still have consistency. Instead of just going, no, it needs to be this way in order for it to be interesting and fun. If it's not this way, it's not interesting and fun. Do you want just this rigid number beat number? No, it needs to be about fun and adventures, I guess. 